Uh, I don't like to get political when I tell stories. Because you get political, somebody gets mad or I'll get confused. I don't want to worry about that. Just the other day, about two weeks ago. Right at the head down that word, they had one of them more protests. And y'all, I'm just trying to get my truck. That boy jumped out of me, looked at me, and said, Where do you stand on the Middle East position? I said, I like it pretty good, but it hurts my wife's back. We don't do it at my house. So I said, Y'all protest right up here. Uh, and it was something else they told me I completely. <laughs> After what happened to me, I need a law passed. And I think y'all get behind it with me. We'll go all the way to 600 pounds. After you hit 600 pounds, no more yoga bridges. <laughs> At least not my permit. Showing somebody for putting on streets. All I'm asking for. Right? That's it. I do a, a tour bus, a county tour bus, and picture boards. We're going down the road. Everybody's having a ball. That baby girl was sitting in the seat in front of me, and she's standing up looking at the windshield, and all these other people are watching me. Nobody's seeing what's going on but her. And all of a sudden, behind my back, to the top of that baby's lungs, all I heard was, Damn! Yeah, when your three-year-old says that, you got to see what's going on. I, I turned around, I was fixing to light her up, but when I turned around, he hit me in both eyes. There was a lady out there, and, and she was about six foot two. And she had dressed out about 750 pounds. Now, I have no problem with that part. Where my problem lied was in the outfit she decided to wear that evening. Uh, it raked both my eyes. It burned an image in my head. I'm never going to get out. She was wearing yoga breeches. It looked like somebody beat this lady with a bag of nickels. Like all back in the it, 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 And that was bright canary up. Okay? It looked like somebody done drove a school bus to a hailstorm. That's what it looked like. I was damn it. Look, look y'all are laughing, but I'll tell you I see it. I found out the riches, they come from Victoria's Secret. <laughs> they get, if they come from Victoria's Secret, they say pink on the butt, right? Right? Well, now, I think it said pink. There, there was a P on this cheek, a K on this one. I don't know about that. I am, if it didn't say pink, it advertised the noise it made when she tried to pull them out of there. Like, <laughs> so, now, for a shirt, all she was wearing was one of them two tops. Oh, it was doing everything it could do. It was stretched so tight it was see-through. That had gaps in the stitching. One thing she would have got a ticket right there. Okay? But now, y'all. In between the seat the two top and the canary yellow bridges, she had one of the belly button rings. Not a cute one. You seen them cherries that dangle down? You seen that style of guy down in? It weren't like him. Sir, this is like a tow hook off a Chevrolet pickup truck. It was about that big around. And it was in there. I don't know if she got stuck in that floor and had to pull her out, what happened. But I do know she got a hitch for it, but happens again to get out of that. You know? so, but now, look, I looked all the way down at her feet, and she was wearing flip flops. <laughs> Hanging off the end of them flip flops. <laughs> Either eagle talons or like them scoops corn chips. All right, but they were, they were all the way over the floor, curled down and touched the sidewalk. I caught a face full of it. My head jumped down. My brain's locked right up. I couldn't get a thought to go in. When I got one process, all I could think is, that lady ain't got no friends. <laughs> they ain't going in here and let their friend walk outside and out here. All of y'all been uh -uh, back in the house right now. I, well, then the second thought was, she don't know one of them four minutes mirrors. <laughs> you ain't rapping all that spandex. Walking in front of no mirror. All right, boys, look out. Here she comes. You know, I ain't gonna do it. So they put me between a rock and a hard place. Uh, Cause I, this lady don't know what that looks like. And you know the only Christian thing to do. That's tell her. So I let the window down on that bus. I stuck my head out there very politely. I said, ma'am, why you got that on your butt? It's like it's got hell damage. Y'all believe she got mad at me. She did start hollering at me, and I'm like, whoa, lady, I'm trying to help you calm down. She goes to cussing at the bus. So I got nervous, and I told the bus driver, I said, hey, man, mash on it. Uh, 
and he mashed on it. Right? Oh. Mashed the wrong pedal. We stopped right there in the middle of the road. That woman, she dug in corn chips in that sidewalk. <laughs> that hamper scratched off, and here she come wide open. Then giggles the bus driver, opened the bus door, turned around and looked at me and said, Bubba, I think she wants to talk to you. <laughs> then, when she jumped on that bus, I ran out the back door of it just as fast as I could go. Cause I'm married to that 115 pound woman right there, and she beats me up three or four times a month. They ain't no way in hell I was getting in the heavyweight division. I mean, I wasn't turned up and out or nothing. She just ain't gonna be beating on me. I tell you, everybody, hey, hey. Woo!